Nearly 4,000 Liberian immigrants, some living in the U.S. for decades, could be forced to leave. The U.S. and Liberia share a unique history. In the early 1800s, Liberia was created as a colony for free African Americans. In 1989, the first of two civil wars broke out, which killed close to a quarter million people and devastated the country's economy. Liberia's infrastructure and healthcare system is still recovering from both the conflict and recent Ebola crisis. In 1991, Liberians became eligible for temporary residence in the U.S. through humanitarian programs, first under Temporary Protected Status, or TPS, and later under Deferred and Forced Departure, or DED. Last year, Trump announced DED would expire on March 31, 2019. Now, DED recipients have two choices leave the country, or become undocumented and risk deportation. I want one. Can you give me one? Tianke Tarwai, a practical nurse from Minnesota, is one of them. Some people don't know whether there's any such thing called DED. So I went to Washington, we went to knock on doors. 1536, this way. Went to Congress. We went to the White House. We talked to people, people in government to be able to talk to President Donald Trump to help in the Liberian situation. I left them rough for a long time. I don't able to, to go. I tell them that I will not survive. We beg you to please help us out. We are friends, we are good people. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm just appealing to the U.S. government to give librarians a chance. Give us permanent status, and we can work our way to being U.S. citizen. Deportation! No! D.E.D. Yes! It's scary to put yourself out there. Even during this interview, my family didn't want to do it because people don't even know whether we don't have status. Somebody has to speak out. So I'm brave enough doing it. If ICE want to come pick me up, so be it. Terminating DED is just one part of Trump's plan to reduce immigration. His administration has granted fewer visas, slashed refugee quotas, and cut temporary protections for non-citizens. DED and TPS allow over 300,000 immigrants to live and work in the U.S. But Trump is winding down both humanitarian programs, arguing conditions in their native countries have improved. A recently introduced House Democrat bill hopes to provide a permanent solution. You are talking about separating families, and we, as a Congress, cannot abide with that. The Dream and Promise Act would provide a pathway to citizenship for immigrants protected by programs, including DACA, TPS, and DED. But it's unlikely to get voted on before March 31st. And we want it now! Minnesota's Twin Cities are home to one of the largest Liberian communities in the U.S., and they're bracing for the DED deadline. Tianke, along with thousands of others fleeing the Civil War, first started resettling there in the 90s. We are going to say goodbye to a pool of talent that is highly skilled, they're educated, they've been here, they've been committed to our organizations. At my particular facility, 60% of our employees are immigrants, and over half of those are Liberians. I have a home, I have a job, I have a hospital to go to, I have friends. I cannot wrap my head around go home. Did I do? Uh, did I represent yeah. Oh us? yes, you, you did, did, mom. You did. You did. This life here in Minnesota is not the life that I know gonna be in Liberia. Everybody, suck it in. <laughs> An end to DED would uproot Tianke's mixed status family. Her husband and two of her children are covered by DED, while her youngest daughter is a U.S. citizen. Family time is very important because during the week we are all busy and have different schedules. Be safe out there. It's icy. Call, please. My 16-year-old, she's still in school. She's a young person and she said, Mom, I can't live nowhere. This is my country. So do I leave a 16-year-old by herself here? 
That's the question. I cannot. My tonal year old, if DED ends, what become of her education? My son graduated from college and he can't. It's just so hard. Whoa. Is that bad? This whole deck about to be filled all the way up with snow soon. Thanks for the dinner, all. You're welcome. Save my day. If DED does not get renewed, I have to ask immigration to give me time to be able to sell my home, sell my car. I prefer to go to Canada. I can't go to Liberia because I have nothing there. Being part of a church community helps Tianke deal with the limbo of her immigration status. I cope every day by reading the Bible and believing in God that he's going to work a miracle. I want my kids to look at me as their hero. I got days that I go in my room, I cry, but I don't let them see me crying. So I should be able to tell them that America is their home, Minnesota is their home.